Today is going to be a really uncomfortable video for me just because it's going to be Evan taking dominant positions, mount, side control, back, and it's just my job to escape. And just going to allow you guys to see what are the techniques that get involved. So we're just going to warm up on our own and then we'll see you guys in the mats. Your frames are key. Do not sacrifice them for anything. Stay calm. It will only get worse if you begin to panic. You catch your breath. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep your elbows nice and tight. The farther your limbs are from your body, the weaker they get. You're doing the right thing. I've always just try to go for my hands. My hands are really what's giving me power. Yeah. Okay. When escaping mount, do not turn too far to either side. You will expose too much of your back. They have to adjust their position, wait for them to move, then take the opportunity. It might not be there for long. Get your back to the mat. At the same time, get the crown of your head to the ground. Do not let them roll you to the opposite side.
take whatever you get. If you're escaping the back and they counter with taking mount, although not ideal, it's a step in the right direction. Don't feel this is a failure, it is not. Defend your neck at all times. Tuck your chin, fight off their hands. So basically, if I go like this, I'm not like I, I couldn't move. So I basically just have to like wait a little bit until I can get just a little bit of my my tricep to be free. Yeah. Because once I, my tricep starts to go out, then it's just a matter of slinking. So kind of noodle your arm a little bit. Uh, and it kind of goes hand in hand with the actual intention of the escape. Yeah. But I have to put my head down. So as I'm putting my head down, I'm trying to slip my arm. Once I get my arm out, then I just come back. And thank God, really. Because the initial walk, you yeah. can't, I can't move it. Stay calm, because I'm also ticklish. So I was really fighting against the urge to laugh. <laughs> so I had to really just like zone in on uh, just, I, I didn't know what I was zoning into. I just have to zone in, just don't laugh, don't tickle. Because if I tickle, yeah. I'm gonna do this, and then you're gonna get it. So I was like, just, <laughs> just really tuck. And then that, the way you did it the second time, like that last one, I couldn't move it at all. So I was like, oh, what am you I gonna do? You went to that side, and I was like, shit. So I was like, what am I gonna do? So I was like, uh. Maybe I'll go the other way and then hope that because your leg is behind my back, yeah. when I roll, you might think about, well, am I gonna keep the hook or am I gonna keep the arm? Mm -hmm. To hope that maybe that hesitation would cause your leg to go loose. It did that. <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, oh, damn. And that's when I got my arm out, because oh, that was stuck beyond belief. Because you like, went to that like, side and I'm like, what the hell is he doing? And then I was like, do I, do I take it out? Do I leave it there? Because I couldn't move it. I, I should have just down. wrenched your arm back. Probably you. Pro I wonder. I wonder though if you could though. Let me just actually try it. So we had this. Yeah. And then went to this. Went to the other side. Ah uh, no! You see, you can't. I can feel you can. Yeah, because you just swivel. You're swiveling your arm from here. Yeah. I can feel you do this, and yeah. there's nothing I can do to yeah, stop yeah. sitting on you. So got the bottom line you kind of want to take from escapes. It's basically try to be as calm as possible because then you get so claustrophobic down there. Especially when the guys really pin you and they feel heavy, it's actually really miserable. So the idea is to stay calm. The biggest advice I can probably give is just to keep your elbows nice and tight, especially if you're on the bottom. Keep your elbows nice and tight. Don't expose your elbows, because if you expose your elbows, you're gonna get pinned, you're gonna get them stapled with their knees and stuff. And this, this counts for side control mount. Back control, same thing, honestly, keep your elbows tight, but most importantly, defend your neck. I cannot urge enough. And the, the main thing is you want to always attack at the hands. Don't attack at the wrists, right? If he has a seatbelt grip and I'm attacking just at the wrist, it's okay. Uh, but which, by the way, why I'm wearing a rash guard, not a gi, because I have a white gi. And if it's a white gi on a white gi, you're not going to notice. The, the, there's no contrast. So if, he, if I have the gi, he can grab my collar like this, right? Go ahead and just grab my, my collar. You see, he can grab it. Just grabbing the wrist doesn't do anything. So if we reset the whole thing, if I'm fighting and he tries to go for the collar, I want to always fight at the hands. Just be mindful you don't peel the fingers. You can't peel the fingers individually. You can grab it as a set, which is fine. But I generally go for the palm. Go for the palm, peel, do the same with the second. When you grab someone's palms, they can't grab anything and he's gonna get frustrated because he's gonna wanna deal with it. All I have to do is keep my elbows tight and slowly just peel them off. The key is to peel them off, get your back to the mat. That's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, like the channel, share it. I'll see you guys in the next video.